Hey my friends, Linda Bradley from Princess House. It's time for lunch with Linda. So we are in the middle of a very hot summer and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy delicious recipe for some of the beautiful fruits of your labor in your garden. Do you guys have a garden? So I live in New Jersey and that's what we're all about. We're not called the Garden State for nothing. So we grow peppers and onions and zucchini garlic and spinach and tomatoes and what else do we have green beans and watermelon and cucumbers and tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes because if you've never tasted a jersey tomato i'm sorry my friends you are missing out so for this recipe um, what you have to do is just get ready a little bit in advance you're going to go ahead and take your chicken breasts and you're going to soak them marinate them in about a half a cup of balsamic vinegar vinaigrette and then just put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for about an hour put it in a plastic bag and then it'll marinate really nicely you can salt and pepper your chicken as well and then do that and then we're going to go ahead ready with our vegetables so this is a great dish because you're going to be using great fresh vegetables and it tastes delicious it's so good for you so the first thing i'm doing is i have a zucchini and a lot of people do not like the seeds of the zucchini which is fine so if that's your case just go ahead and slice them down and then just take the seeds right out and then you don't even have to worry about that it makes it super easy the one thing that you want to remember when you are cooking vegetables all at the same time is that you want them all to be around the same size so that they all cook evenly if you have some small pieces and some large pieces it's not going to work so i decided to cook these in strips today so i'm basically just you can see just go ahead and cut them down put them in strips and then i'm going to have what i need for the zucchini the next thing that I want is peppers. So I love red and yellow and orange peppers. Green peppers are not my friend, but I love these. So let me show you a quick and easy way to cut them that makes life so much easier. You're basically just gonna cut off your top and cut off your bottom, all right, you can see, and then just put one slice down the side and look, la, it all opens up. You just pull out that little seed pod is that not the easiest thing ever? And then you're just going to slice these down as well. And as I said, I'm just putting them in strips. I already put the red peppers in there. These are now the orange peppers. I might as well just stick them all in here now. And then we have our tomatoes and I'm using uh, little grape tomatoes, again, from the garden. These are like candy. You can literally just eat them. <laughs> and oh, one poor little one left. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to put a little balsamic vinaigrette on the, um, all of the vegetables. So this is going to cook in your oven at 400 degrees for about um, 16 minutes, eight minutes on each side. And you're going to make sure that you have flipped it in the middle and you always want to use a thermometer, especially with chicken, right? It has to go 165 degrees. So we're going to roast up the vegetables and I'm just using the Fantasia nine by 13. I like this because if you actually make your food ahead of time, you can put your plastic lid on it. And then of course, um, you know, throw it in the oven when you get home, which makes it so much easier for you but yeah that's how easy this is I have my little plastic bag I had all of these marinated so I'm going to put them in here I'm going to push the vegetables off to the side and then put the chicken in and then what you end up doing is the last after it's cooked um, you're going to put some fresh Parmesan cheese right on top and then you can broil it for just two to five minutes and then you have a beautiful summertime meal I mean this looks pretty to begin with um, a beautiful summertime meal and it's going to be healthy and delicious and you get to use some beautiful fresh vegetables from your garden. If you haven't tried a garden yet, try it. It's actually not too late. It's not difficult. Try something easy. Um, as we go, tomatoes are definitely easy. You can still do cucumbers, green beans. We're getting ready to put in our second planting of green beans. And then there's some um, vegetables that are more of a cold winter vegetable anyhow. 
Uh, you can put spinach in, that it works well. Broccoli, they're, they're better in the colder weather too. So check it out though, it's a lot of fun and if you have kids, it's a great way to teach the kids where our food comes from and you can totally control what's in your food. It's all organic because you're the one that decides what you put on it and I'm telling you, there is nothing like the taste. All right, easy Italian chicken. I will come back and show you the finished product and I hope that you enjoy.